my channel. Say hi, Bailey. Say hi. This is Bailey May. <laughs> she is seven months old now. Can you believe that, guys? If you've been with me for a while, you know we got her in May, and you've seen her grow. She was just a itty bitty little thing, weren't you? And she's in a really playful mood, so she's going to join me for this video. I have a feeling she's going to try and take all of the stuff that I show you guys and chew on it. But, um, yeah, I went to the Dollar Tree today, and I picked up a bunch of good stuff. Some things are tried and true, and some things are new, but I thought it would be fun to share with you guys, so that's what I'm going to do. And don't mind the dog biting me. Bailey. Ow! So the first thing I got was a broom, basic. By the way, everything in the Dollar Tree is a dollar. If you didn't know that, if you're not in America, maybe, because I know I have a lot of viewers in Canada and I have some in the UK, I have some all over the world actually. So if you're watching from one of those countries and you don't know, the Dollar Tree is a store where everything is a dollar. So I got this broom because we only have one. Would you stop? And it's my main form of transportation. <laughs> Just kidding, did you catch that? If you didn't catch that, I'm sorry. It was funny, it sounded funny in my mind. Would you please? My husband has one in the garage that he uses, it's pretty gross, and then I wanted one for my front porch and my back patio, so I picked this one up because it was only a dollar. Dollar Tree has a lot of great stuff for cleaning, especially if, say, you're moving into your first home and you need to just get like the basics and get started. I would start at the Dollar Tree. One thing I didn't pick up from there that you could find is like the rubber gloves. If you like to clean with gloves, I don't. I can't do anything with gloves on, but if you like gloves, they do have them. And then please don't chew my broom. So I get a little, sometimes I, I get. I picked up this little spray bottle. I got pink because it's cute. No, do not chew my broom. And you can make your own homemade cleaning solutions in here. What I will usually do is put like some pine saw and water mix up and use that. Sometimes I put like alcohol and water and that makes a great glass cleaner. Or you can like add essential oils and things like that. But it's good to always have one of these because you never know when you might need it. Another must have item from the Dollar Tree are these little dish ones here. And you can take this little plug out and put dish soap in here. You can do half dish soap, half vinegar. And it makes a great bathtub and shower scrubber. Hi, Tucker. You want to come say hi? This is Tucker. He's a Morky Poo. Everybody always asks. He's dirty and needs a bath. Don't ya? Oh, that's my baby. Anyways, I hang these in both of our uh, bathtubs or showers. And they're in there. And that way, when I'm in the shower, I can just scrub down the shower while I'm in there. I have one in the girls' bathroom. If I'm in there doing whatever upstairs doing like bedtime routine I can quickly scrub down the shower because it's already in there the cleaner's already in there it works great the shower shines it's just quick and easy and these are a must-have from the Dollar Tree I have repurchased them so many times and they usually have pink and purple and a bunch of pretty colors at my Dollar Tree today they only had this one left that was it and they actually sell these little heads and individually as well you can get a pack of two for a dollar okay the next thing is this lint roller basic but if you have pets like I do then one of these will come in handy in fact I'm gonna use it now because oh I didn't even realize how cute I thought that was just a sticker on it but the actual sticky tape is this black that's cool I didn't know that well anyways it's good for getting lint and dog hair and cat hair and all that good stuff off. So then I picked up four of these and I'm not going to show all of them because I got all the same scent except for this one. So these are the Glade, what are they called? I don't know what they're called, but they're air fresheners by Glade. Well, actually this one's by Glade and this one's by Renews It. After the rain, it smells so good. Glade Red Honey Suckle Nectar. And basically you just pop up the top, I think, yeah, like that. And there's like a scented gel in there and it just smells good. So what I would use this for is in one for in my car. I'm going to use after the rain in my car. Just stick it underneath of the seat and it'll make my car smell good. And then this, the other three I'm going to put in my bathrooms. Probably just down by the trash can or something just to give it a little bit of a good smell when you go in there. They have a bunch of these coffee things in there, whatever you call them. What do you call these? Coffee things <laughs> in there. What are you chewing on? No! Oh my god, she had my remote to 
my camera. That would have been bad. No, ma'am. Get a puppy, they said. It will be fun. No. Anyways, one of these coffee mug things. I got this for Madeline because she likes to drink hot chocolate, and I thought, I thought, I thought it would be cool. I thought it would be cool to have one that had a lid because it would be less likely to spill because it scares me when she has her hot chocolate in here, to be honest with you. It says it's BPA free, and then it just has the lid that pops up like that. It's her favorite color. And then it has this little rubber thing here to like protect your hand from the heat, I guess, and like give you a good grip. They had some holiday ones as well, but I wanted to get her one that was she could use year round. So I get asked all the time where I get my rags that I use for cleaning. And the truth is they're just rags, like what they are. They're rags. They're old washcloths that have been retired into rags. But if you need to go buy new rags, because I've been married for 15 and a half years, so I have some old things. But if you're just starting out in life, the Dollar Tree, you can get a two-pack of rags like this. They had different colors. I recommend white. And that was a dollar for those. And then they also have the microfiber cloth, and I don't know why it comes in a box. It's kind of weird. But can you see? It's just so inappropriate. Bailey, go somewhere else. A microfiber. This is good for cleaning like glass and stuff. Lots of different things, dusting and stuff like that. But they have the microfiber ones there. They even have some larger ones. But that's where I get most of my microfiber ones. And then if you need rags, the Dollar Tree. So then I picked up this little thing of bleach. Now this is probably not like a good deal. I don't know how much bleach is, but it's not that much. I think it's like less than three bucks at Walmart for an actual big thing of it. And this is only one pint. But the reason that I picked it up is because in my bathroom, I keep a little bucket with cleaning supplies that are just for my bathroom. That way they're in there. And when I'm in there, I can just clean. And I thought this would be perfect to go in that little bin. It doesn't take up a lot of space and I can use it to pour in the toilet and stuff when I'm cleaning. So I got that. I got this Airwick Snuggle Fresh Linen Air Freshener just because I'm a sucker for anything that says it smells like laundry. Let's see if it smells good. Oh my goodness, you guys can't see it, but like the mist, it like left mist all over my floor. Oh, and all over my coffee table. Oh, I don't know. This isn't snuggle, this is airway. There. Does it smell good? It's not the best. I don't know if I would recommend that unless you're like hurting for money and you really need an air freshener. It smells nice, but I don't like the way that it sprays. So then I picked up these Gain dryer sheets, and they smell so good. I could smell them just through the box. Sorry, my windows are open and there's cars going. I'm clearly very distracted. What was I saying? I could smell them in the bag as I was carrying my stuff, and they just smell so good. How many sheets are in there? 15. For a dollar. I don't know that that's necessarily a deal, but I picked them up because I was there, and I love the smell, the smell of Gain. I heard a noise and you know what it was? It was my air, I had my air purifier on back here and I had it on auto and it senses your air quality and it will adjust to, you know, if it needs to run higher or if your air quality is good. Well, when I sprayed this stuff, it sensed my air quality was bad and it kicked up. See, that lets you know it's working. Okay, so then I picked up this little thing and this isn't necessarily ideal, but I really wanted to get something while I was there for this reason. It's gonna be a trash can in my car. So what I'm gonna do is take, they have these little trash bags, they had a bunch of different ones. I got the pink ones, they're rose scented. So I'm gonna do it right now. I know, you guys are starving. We never feed you, you poor baby. But, you know, who cares? I'm actually probably gonna leave these. Would you please move? Probably gonna leave these upstairs in the girls' bathroom and just use them up there. They come with twisty ties too, which is kind of yeah, this is way too big for this, but whatever. Okay, so I put the little bag in there and I put the lid on it and I'm going to put this in the back seat and when the girls have trash, they can throw it in here. When it's full, they can take it out and throw it away. It'll work for now. Oh, I'm so, this is what I'm most excited to show you guys. Let me unwrap the other one. I forgot I got these. She wrapped them in bathroom paper. Okay, Dollar Tree, what in the world? Literally, this is what you wipe your hands off with in the bathroom. Anyways, okay, so 
little salt and pepper shakers. They're little mason jars. They don't say mason on them like some little mason jars do because they're not real, obviously. But they're salt and pepper shakers. How cute. Love that. And they were a dollar a piece. So I'm going to put my salt and pepper in there. And then I got Madeline some candy corn because she loves it. And then I got me some candy sticks because I love them. Last but not least, this is what I went there for. I wanted some organizing bins, and this is where I get most of my organizing bins. My Dollar Tree is usually pretty picked over, so it's usually hard to find. They did have quite a few this time, but they were ugly colors. Like, well, I mean, ugly. I'm not trying to offend you if you like the colors, but for me, they were ugly. They were just like basic red and green and orange. And I like white and like blue and pink, like pretty colors, you know? White, like a clean, just whatever. So I got four of these. And I don't know for sure where I'm even going to use them yet, but whenever I'm in the Dollar Tree, if they have ones that are in the color I like, I go ahead and grab some just so that I have them because you never know. <sighs> Duck and Donut sweet tea, by the way, is the best sweet tea, aside from mine. I, have, I make really good sweet tea for you. Anyways, guys, I, I apologize for the distractions in the back. If that's not your thing, my channel's probably not your thing because I have animals and we love them. They're crazy. But we do love them. Come here. Come here and say bye. I think she weighs like 35, 40 pounds now. Look. Somebody once told me that she was too skinny and I needed to feed her more. And I just laughed because <laughs> she is not skinny. She is tall and lanky. But she is healthy as can be, aren't you? See, that's just how I am. That's just my body type. All right, guys. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. It helps. Helps me. Every little bit helps. And don't forget to turn that bell on before you leave so it will notify you when I upload new videos. Can you say bye, Bailey? Bailey. Jay. Bye. Jay, bye. Bye, guys. Sweet.